Today we're going to be taking a look at Hasbro's Star Wars Mando Monday reveals for week 8. Hi, I'm Chris Cook, your host for Toys the Jedi, and if you are indeed new to the channel, please do click the like button and subscribe, because that way you get a heads up any time we drop a new video. We're very close to 300 subscribers now, so thanks to all of you who have joined recently. Really do appreciate the support that you've shown. Now, today we actually got quite a few with um, few reveals for the, uh, for the Black Series stuff. Nothing for Vintage Collection, unfortunately, but what was revealed in Black Series was a very nice treat. Some of these have been heavily rumoured for a while, and there's a couple in there in the archive line as well that I'm particularly looking forward to getting. There were a couple of other bits of Hasbro released items. Uh, we'll cover those as well, just for, for completeness. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with the show. Okay, so we're going to start by taking a look at the Black Series Bo-Katan. This is in the main line coming out in spring of next year. She's going to cost about £19.99 or $19.99, depending on where you are. And uh, she looks to be an absolutely fantastic figure. Lovely box art, as, as you'd expect from uh, the uh, the new line of the, the figures, certainly with this new packaging that they brought in. Uh, but actually, to take a closer look at the figure, I think that's a fantastic representation of Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan really captured the the look of the character which I think they've also translated very well from the Clone Wars originally. Love the detailing that you've got on the helmet there, the, uh, the detailing with some smudges around the, the uh, some of the weathering as it were and also the the actual strikes in towards the the visor look absolutely fantastic as well. You can see she comes detailed with two of her blaster pistols which are signature to that particular character plenty of posability as well by the looks of things so uh, so yeah definitely one to be adding to the collection i think uh, also look to be getting her mandalorian jetpack that she comes comes with as well and again looks to be rocker ankles on the figure too so yeah plenty to be excited for for this character uh, and this figure definitely one that's going to be on the list now Hasbro have also released images of what look to be the next wave of archive figures. These are going to come on the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm packaging. Still looks very similar to previous versions of the archive line that we've had, but obviously for new to the line figures. These are all obviously going to be repacks as well. So we're going to start off with the Death Trooper. This is a um, it was a very popular figure the first time around, sold pretty well when it came out uh, in the Rogue One style. But of course, he's now seen an appearance in the Mandalorian as well. So yeah, going to be plenty of new collectors that are going to want to pick this one up too. So same, um, exactly the same release as before, same color scheme as far as I can tell. Possibly grey boots, which I think the originals may have been a black. Uh, I'd have to check that uh, when the actual figure does get released though um, but yet yeah, looks like a nice release if you missed him the first time around next up we have the imperial hover tank driver now this was originally a toys r us exclusive so possibly quite difficult for some to get hold of uh, i managed to get hold of one back when they were released initially lovely figure again it uses utilizes the similar sort of armor to the Shaw Trooper, which we'll come on to in just a minute, um, but again, he's also seen a slightly, slightly different version in the recent episodes of The Mandalorian. Not quite the same as this, but certainly good for custom fodder if you're looking to chop and change a few bits and pieces there. This one, um, yeah, can't see any real details. Maybe there's a slightly different, uh, slightly updated paint deco to him um, compared to the last version but the last one was pretty good too to be honest so uh, again have to see them side by side to actually see if there's any difference on that well worth picking up if you haven't already got him in your collection so the third figure in the wave is the Shaw Trooper. This is the Grunt version, and it was originally only a Walmart exclusive, so particularly difficult for us over here in the UK to get hold of. Hopefully this will make it much more widely available to those of us. I only managed to get one the first time around, but obviously it's, as it's the Grunt, it seemed a bit odd that that was the way they, they released him. You got the Captain in the main line, and the Grunt was a, a store exclusive. I'm going to be looking to pick up several of these to actually make out a bit of a squad of these figures. This is my favourite trooper, hands down, so yeah, very pleased that this is getting a re-release. This was who I voted for for the fans choice for the archive, so I'm very grateful that they are getting this one back out there again. Now again, it looks to be very much the same detailing in the actual figure, possibly a slightly different wash to um, the the dirtiness of the, the actual figure on the paint deco, but it is still a wonderfully articulated figure you can get plenty of poses out of this um, as you can see in the shots on the screen um, it's something that yeah 
I'm very pleased it's coming out, so definitely going to get my hands on this one. And rounding out the wave is the Tuscan Raider. Now, this was originally released in the red line of the Black Series, then again on the 40th anniversary of A New Hope. Both of those figures are commanding quite a high price at the moment, because the Tuscan Raiders obviously saw plenty of action in The Mandalorian. Now, with the increase in popularity of those, I think obviously people are buying those up to try and make all sorts of dioramas and setups for this figure. This is one I'm going to try and get hold of to finish out my original 12 of the Black Series, as it were, uh, on that nice legacy display. I think it's great that Hasbro are reacting to what's actually in current media uh, to get this figure out there. Uh, again, it's exactly the same figure as before in terms of articulation, possibly some slightly updated deco in the face department and the weathering on the actual figure itself, uh, but not a huge difference there. If you've already got this one, you don't need to go and get the updated archi um, archive version, but if you are hunting him down, this looks to be a much more cost-effective way of doing this. So all those figures are going to be available at the start of 2021. They're going to be a spring sort of time on that one. All priced $19.99, so a very affordable way of getting hold of those Black Series figures if you miss them the first time around. Like I say, I'll be looking to hunt down a couple of Shore Troopers to just fill out a little, nice little squad for a display of those. Not typically a Black Series collector, but that being my favourite figure, absolutely going to pick up a couple of those. I think it's a very sensible way of looking at the character selection that's in there. I think they're all figures that do demand a re-release ideally they would have sprinkled them in and out of some of the previous archive waves maybe just to uh, prevent some of the the peg warmers that have gone in there but that said i'm not going to complain that they're on their way out now now the other reveals today were of baby yoda now if you're a fan of the little green guy you're going to be thrilled to bits with these they're more from the bounty collection and a plush figure so taking a look at the Bounty Collection figures, these are now Series 3 of this uh, collection. I'm amazed it's gotten to 3 Series, but hey, obviously there is a lot of demand for Grogu, or the Child, or Baby Yoda, depending on how you want to refer to him. These are going to be Figure 2 facts, and are going to retail for $15.99. Usually that just takes the dollar sign, switches out for a pound when it transfers over here in the UK. And these are going to be available in spring of 2021. Now again, these are more of the cutesy, cuddly stuff that you'd stick on your desk, nice little tchotchke sort of thing. They're not for me, I've got to be honest, but it is nice that they are updating it to show designs, I should say, from Series 2 of The Mandalorian. Uh, I particularly like the, uh, the little blue moustache that he's got on the one where he's drinking the, the milk there. Now the final item, again this is technically from the Bounty Collection, is the Child Hideaway Hover Pram Plush. This, uh, again, like I say, a very cutesy little version of Baby Yoda, the Child Grogu. And uh, he's going to be able to be folded up so that you can put him effectively inside the pram, uh, which would then normally float. So, lovely idea. It does close all the way up so you can hide him properly in there. Um, <laughs> It's a nice idea. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there'll be plenty of kids that would love this. Um, my littlest would, would absolutely adore this. So, yeah, there's definitely a market for it out there. Um, not typically something that's going to end up in my collection. But, yeah, there you go. It is something that's coming out as well. This one's going to retail for $19.99 and, again, available in spring 2021. And that is our show for this week. If you've enjoyed the show, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel grow. Like I said at the top, we are almost at 300 subscribers at the moment. And when we get to 500, I will be looking to do a giveaway. I think that's a decent landmark to have achieved and have got to. So thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed. Thank you to those of you who have just clicked the subscribe button now. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's been a decent week so far for reveals. Um, that Bo-Katan, very nice. That Shore Trooper, definitely on the list. And I think hopefully we've got about one more week of Mando Mondays left, which would make sense. Get that final episode of the show out there, do some more reveals, and then draw a line under it. So, yeah, probably just one more of these before Christmas, but then there will be new videos in the new year of other bits and pieces coming up. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Until next time. <laughs>